Hello everyone. Welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are going to solve about or derive, we are going to derive an equation about final velocity of a body after one dimensional elastic collision. So first of all, we need to know what do you mean by an elastic collision. A collision is said to be elastic if both momentum and kinetic energy are conserved during that collision. One dimensional means before and after the collision, the bodies are moving in the same direction. Let us consider a scenario like this. A body of mass m1 moving with a velocity u1. Another body of mass m2 moving with a velocity u2. This is all before the collision. Let there is a collision because u1 is greater than a2. So bodies have changed their velocities. Let the velocities of the bodies after the collision is first body is having a velocity v1 and the second body is having a velocity v2. So being a one dimensional elastic collision as for the definition momentum is conserved. That means initial momentum of the collision equal to the final momentum. Momentum is conserved. I can get m1 terms to one side and write u1 minus v1. m2 terms to the other side v2 minus u2. Let me call it like equation number 1. Being a one dimensional collision, not only the momentum is conserved, even the kinetic energy is also conserved. That means initial kinetic energy of the system is equal to the final kinetic energy of the system. Initial kinetic energy before the collision of m1 u1 square that is the kinetic energy of the first body half m2 u2 square that is the kinetic energy of the second body before the collision after the collision half m1 v1 square and half m2 v2 square all halves can be cancelled getting m1 terms again to one side m1 half u1 square minus v1 square equal to m2 of v2 square minus u2 square. Let me call it like equation number 2. By dividing 2 by 1, I will be getting m1 of u1 square minus v1 square of the second equation, m1 of u1 minus v1 from the first equation. Similarly, m2 of v2 square minus u2 square from the second equation by m2 of v2 minus u2. M2s can be cancelled, m1s can be cancelled. I can write v1 square, u1 square minus v1 square as a square minus b square equal to a plus b into a minus b by u1 minus v1. <coughs> Similarly, on the other side, I can write v2 plus u2 and v2 minus u2 by v2 minus u2. v2 minus u2 and u1 minus u1 can be cancelled. And what is remaining is u1 plus v1 equal to v2 plus u2. By rearranging the terms, I can write u1 minus u2 relative velocity of the approach before the collision equal to v2 minus v1 is the relative velocity of the separation after the collision. Now, I want to find the value of v1. As I want to find the value of v1, I have to eliminate v2. So, from this I can write v2 as u1 minus u2 minus v1 become plus v1 on this side. Let us substitute this value of the v1 in equation number 1 so that I will be able to get the value of that v1 itself. So, now what I have to do is substituting v2 
in equation number 1. Our equation number 1 is here m1 of u1 minus v1 equal to m2 of v2. But in the place of v2, let me write this value u1 minus u2 plus v1 minus u2 is there as it is I have written. Let us simplify this equation further. m1 u1 minus m1 v1 equal to m2 of u1 u2 and u2 there is another u2 minus 2 u2 plus v1. Let us extend the terms m2 u1 minus 2 m2 u2 plus m2 v1 equal to m1 u1 minus m1 v1. I want to calculate v1. So let us take all v1 terms to one side and v2 terms to other side. That implies m1 u1. I will be taking this m1 v1 to the other side. Minus m2 u1. I have got the other term to this side. Plus 2m2 u2. I have got this negative terms to this side. Equal to m2 v1 plus m1 v1. So simplifying this equation further. m1 minus m2 of u1 plus 2m2 of u2 equal to m1 plus m2 of v1. So, to get the v1, I have to get that m1 plus m2 into the denominator of the other side of the equation. Then, m1 minus m2 by m1 plus m2 of u1, 2m2 by m1 plus m2 of u2 is the equation for the final velocity of the body after one dimensional elastic collision. So, this is what your equation is. What is this equation is? If there are two bodies of masses m1 and m2 moving in the same direction, having some velocities u1 and u2 before the collision, after the collision, because of the elastic collision, there is an exchange of momentum and kinetic energy. Each body will have a different velocity and this is the velocity of the first body. Suppose somebody has given a condition something like if initially two bodies are not moving in the same direction and they are moving in opposite direction. Everything else is same. U1 you have to treat it like U1 itself. But U2 you treat it like as minus U2. And you can rewrite the equation as V1 equal to because it is moving in opposite direction. I have treated the first body velocity as positive. Being the other body is moving in opposite direction, I shall treat that velocity in the format of a vector as negative. Everything is same. M1 minus M2 by M1 plus M2 of U1 plus 2M2 by M1 plus M2 of, but I have to write a minus U2. That's it. That's how we can find the final velocity of a body first body after one dimension elastic collision. We will use the same process in the next post. We will try to find out the final velocity of the second body. Right? Thank you for watching. Keep coming back for more and more video lessons. Thank you.